In this video, we explore the fossil shelter at the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park in Nevada. Dr. Charles Camp began to excavate the site in 1953, and the state park was established by the Nevada legislature in 1955. Welcome to Exploring This Life, Season 1, Episode 19. Welcome to the channel. Um, today we're kind of at a place that's kind of special. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Okay, we are at the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park. And the state park is special for a couple of reasons. Um, it has a ghost town, which is the old mining town of Berlin. And it also houses um, ichthyosaur fossil remains. And there are there's a building that has nine different fossils all together. They were found that way. And then there are more throughout this area that aren't available to be viewed. But we are going to, um, we've been here before and we did some filming and we are going to be looking also for fossils today. And last time we were here, we found some uh, clams, scallop fossils and a piece of coral. Um, we'll be looking for ammonite today and then walking around the ghost town again so yeah so we were here last week uh a mm -hmm. week ago yeah exactly. it was a week ago today and uh a lot of our video didn't turn out so we had planned on coming back anyway <laughs> because i think we're gonna end up shooting probably three or four videos out of this place because it's it's really interesting it's about two a little over two hours from our house, yeah. but there's so much to do here um, that it could take quite a while to see everything. And we may come back again next year. Uh, we've got about two weeks before they shut it down for the season. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the park itself will probably still be open, mm -hmm. but the observa uh, observatory or whatever you want to call this uh, probably won't be open. Um, and depending upon weather and whatnot, we may be able to get back this year, but I don't know. Right. Um, so for right now, we're going to plan on a couple videos. We'll do as much as we can. If we can find some more fossils today, that would be awesome. Uh, we could come back another time and do the, the walks, mm -hmm. uh, the hikes or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I would like to get the ghost down today mm -hmm. and knock that out. Maybe some of the campground, some of the other outbuildings. Um, but this is special because these are the only ichthyosaurus ichthyosaurus, ichthyosaurus uh, fossils in America, correct? No. Nevada has the only intact full okay. ichthyosaurus fossil skeletal remains. It is the state fossil. I mean the state, yeah, state fossil of um, Nevada as well. But uh, other places have them, and this actual park has more than just what's behind the camera. Right. Um, they've been covered over so that people can't go and disturb and take them. Uh, so we don't even know where those locations are. Yeah, the, the interesting thing is that there's nine of them inside of the building, mm -hmm. uh, which is not a huge building. Mm -mm. Um, and then there's one here in the parking lot that you can, uh, yeah. you can touch. actually touch <laughs> and People have stolen parts of it, which I don't understand, but mm -mm. they chose to cover the other sites uh, because they didn't want them walking away. Yeah. Not physically walking because <laughs> they're fossils, but. Um, so that's the cool part. Uh, we'll try and document some of this for you guys and uh, come along for the ride. Professor S. M. Mueller of Stanford University first discovered the fossils on the site in 1928. The state park is located in the Shoshone Mountains, making this fossil species the Shonosaurus popularis, and it is the second largest ichthyosaurus species known. The word ichthyosaur means fish lizard, and they gave birth to live young. This is the site map, which we will reference throughout the video. Like when I walked in, I didn't realize that was a dinosaur. It's, it's a marine reptile, prehistoric marine reptile. Huh. So it, in order to be a 
dinosaur, you have to live on that. Oh. Yeah, that's what you're, you're definitely. I said the same thing when we get, <laughs> I said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Yeah. The only people that come in here already knowing that are kids. Oh, of course. And yeah. especially the kids that watch Dino Dan. Oh, okay. So you got to watch right. Dino Dan. I've never heard of Dino Dan. <laughs> it's, apparently, it's a show, and it's it's the kids come in, they know everything. That's okay. really They're, cool. No, and it's real information. Right. It's not cute stuff. It's really good information. That's cool. Oh, this is huge. Dino right here cool. is the skull. The skull. Okay. Okay. So this is one jaw, and this is another jaw, broken back. Okay. This is the cortoid, which is like our collarbone. Uh huh. It's the largest bone that goes across. And then we have the C, the humerus, and the radius, probably right there, all across here. Now, from this point this way is where the phalange would have been. Because, of course, it was a marine reptile, most like a lizard. So, lizards have fingers. So, they would have gone this way. There's some ribs few more ribs, and then scattered vertebrates all the way up through here. They start coming into line like they should be. That's amazing. And right in here is where the pelvic area is. Okay. And then right here, I don't know if you can see uh -huh. this bone here on the other side of those two rocks. Uh huh. That's the femur. So just like the femur in your leg, and then the phalange would have come up behind it. Wow. Oh. So then it goes on up. Right here is where it becomes huge. the tail bones. So the backbone that goes through the tail, the vertebrates, uh -huh. would change shape a little bit to become the tail vertebrates and would have gone on the way up into here. That's amazing. So the G then are the extra vertebrates? This is uh, another specimen. Okay. Going, and it would have been laying about like this way. Oh, so they were together when all they were found? The pile, yes. Yes. And so this one, that's all we have. Okay. This. And that's his vertebrate? Yeah, those are vertebrates. Specimen three starts over here. Okay. And yep. It, like right under your feet where his tail would have been right here. Oh, wow. And then it goes on. Oh, oh my goodness. So that's the third one. So I wonder if this wasn't like a den where they, whoever ate these guys, just left the bones? That, that is think. one theory. Yeah. Dr. Oops, he's not a doctor. McNamman's idea or theory is that a giant kraken <gasps> collected their bodies in its lair and then arranged the bones in an artistic Fashion. Oh. Um, that's cool. <laughs> so he actually presented that at the Geological Society. Wow. Oh my goodness. So I'm not crazy. You're not crazy, baby. Well, <laughs> the reaction to his presentation wasn't was well received. Really? Yeah. Um, Dr. Hobler's theory, uh, she studied the bones that have not been treated on the other side of the room is that their food source was poisoned by a dinophilatic red tide event. Oh. So it would have killed, they all would have eaten the same food source, died, risen to the top, bloated, flipped over, and then sank back down and got covered with the sun. Huh. Her theory. Wow. Arnold's theory is that a giant meteorite that hit northern Nevada devastated the whole area. And then Dr. Camp's theory was that they were beached. Oh. Is, are these theories all, do you have these theories like written somewhere? They're all right here in this book. Okay. Okay. And those are the only ones that I can find so far. That's amazing. That, 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 that's been peer reviewed. Right. Somewhere there's the truth. Right. It's probably a combination. <laughs> Yeah, these ones that haven't been treated or whatever, they, they would have been hard to. Don't they? Yeah, wouldn't. See, those ones are what they would have found. Right, and I would have. Yeah, I, I would have. Never seen that. Nope.
It just looks like a string drum. Yeah. And that's a real good example of the ribs right there and how long they were. These right here, the R? Yeah. So they're all ribs. And so they're about seven to, what is it, seven feet long? Wow. So they would have come out somewhere right in here where the pieces would have stopped. It would have gone all the way up around and then through here. So crazy. And then, of course, we have some vertebrates going this way from here. Now, were these found in the mining process? No, not at all. These weren't found until 10 years after Berlin, the mining stopped in Berlin. Okay. Yeah. So how did they come upon these? Uh, Cy Mueller, who is a geologist, found uh, a vertebrate just laying in the dirt. He was out here doing a geological study for something different uh -huh. and uh, found it just laying in the dirt. Wow. Just like the vertebrate that's on the desk over there. So imagine that back in the day when they were mining, they probably tore stuff like this up and had no clue what it was. Right. Well, they knew there were fossils here as far as shells. There's the ammonites and the clams, uh, some oyster shells that have been found. But as far as knowing that there was an ichthyosaur, no, one, no, no mention of it at all. Huh. Of course, they're looking for gold and silver. Sure. Right. right. So gold and silver is the goal. I used to work in the mining industry here in Nevada. And it's kind of amazing the stuff that we would find. Knowing that there was a mining process there before, uh, back in the 1800s, but... Um, to come across stuff like this, I don't, I don't know that we would have noticed it. Well, I wouldn't have. Mm -mm. I mean, mm -mm. when you look at what's right there, it's the same color yeah. almost. It's right. The dirt, and know? these have at least had the dirt even brushed off, like to just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't have ever known those were ribs. It just looked like a funny rock formation. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy goes all the way to here. Uh, Am I far? F. Yep, there's F. Okay, so he that goes. Right here, and then right about in here it stops. And that's okay. because all that over there would be broken away before they even got here. Okay. So that whole section, like the whole back corner, right. already broken away and probably down in the valley. Those vertebrates. Okay, and so, but he just goes this whole way down. That is big. So that is the one, and then this one, and G is number two. G is number two, okay, which is that. And that's all there is of G. And then this is the third. third guy. He's kind of a mess. Yeah. Kind of all spread out. And then there's four. This one is the fourth one. And then this was his phalanges? There's or no? No phalanges on that one. None, okay. Jaw. Okay, this, so oh. this is the one that has the jaw. Okay. This, this would be the head coming this way, and so it would have been head. going off that way. Wow. So, so that, whole, that whole thing is the head? This? Yeah, this whole right through here. And then M is his jaw. Yeah, that's the jaw, and this is a jaw, lower jaw. Okay. Oh, wow, so I'm standing backwards, kind of. Or, so, like that area there would be like the eye area like kind of right there we don't between really have m and l sporadic ring left okay one here um but you'd have the jaws coming down this way okay and this way okay so that's and the sporadic four. ring would have been something it's probably in the pile underneath some stuff right in this area okay and this is part of four, or is this five? No, this is four. This one is five. This one here. Yeah. Okay. And this one is kind of bent around. 
Oh. And then are those the ribs right in front of yeah, O? There would be some ribs. There's some ribs over here. This one's really well full of girl, and that's the Yeah. You've got all these vertebrates through here, and then right here you have a bit of a femur. Okay. More ribs up in here. So we figure this one is kind of bent around like this. Right. And then this guy in there was six? Or is that part of, is P part of? They, they, I'm told, and this is what I don't understand, is this one here mm -hmm. is supposed to be part of this one. Okay. But it's been shifted back. So like the, it would have been maybe right in this general area. Okay. But because of the fault line, it goes this way. It just fell maybe? It went down and left. Okay. So there's a bit of a shift in the line. And then Q is six. Over there, and I, I can't even. I right. <laughs> They're just kind of piles. <laughs> yeah, the book is, it will tell you. But yeah. It, it does kind of like resemble like a layer of vertebrae. And, and that's where, he, I mean, he did, McManaman did come out here, and he's claimed that his newest information uh, came from here. He claims to have caught a, uh, found a fossil of a beak of this giant kraken. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. But this one, these are cross sections. Oh. Of the ribs. Yeah, I see that. At times uh, in the past, some of the rangers have had programs here with the kids teaching them how to dig for fossils. And so they'd cover it up and then have the kids dig it up. So I can touch this one? Yeah. It comes all the way out to here and then goes all the way up when I guess you can see this thing in the daylight. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it in the daylight. Yeah. Okay. Now I have pictures of it where it was complete. So right about in here, there were um, the pelvic region was here, and then the rest was up in here. And so they just here, covered it back up? Well, it, it's been exposed for us to show people. But, okay. Um, People sometimes help themselves. This is just the first of several videos that we are going to do here at the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park. Thanks for watching this one and come back to see what happens in the following videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for more information on the items in this video.